I'm here with Paul Crow, who's the Senior Conservation Officer of the Fauna Conservation Department at Kaduri Farm and Botanic Garden. So, what role does KFBG play in snake conservation in Hong Kong? Well, the Wild Snake Rescue Program that we operate out of the Rescue Center here saves the lives of about 1,000 to 1,500 snakes each year. So where are these snakes coming from and why are they coming here? Well, in Hong Kong, if a member of the public has a snake turn up in somewhere they don't want to see it, like in their house or in a factory or a garden, um, they have the option to call the police. What happens is the police then will, will respond to that call out. They'll recruit the assistance of a, a local snake catcher to catch the snake, and then they'll be brought to us here at the rescue center. When a snake arrives here, what happens then? When it arrives, it's kind of a, it's a, a mystery because we're not sure they, they arrive in a box and we have to first carefully open and extract the snake and identify them. Grab that okay. one. The bulk of what comes through the rescue center through this program are native snakes, but there is an increasing trend in seeing more and more exotic pet snakes that are filling those police boxes. There's a bamboo snake. Oh wow, it's a female. After that, we try and find out if they're fit and healthy and if they're in a condition to go back into the wild. She looks like she might have a small injury, so we better take her out and get a closer look. Oh, yeah. yeah, I can see there is an injury there. I think that one needs to see our vet. Alex, can you take a look at this? That's the one I mentioned that's got the injury. There is a big skin tear. Try to see if we can manage to close it. So, Alex, you'll be gluing it rather than stitching? Yeah, yeah. Um, to stitch it, we need to anesthetize the snake. So we'll try first to see if the glue holds. How long do you usually monitor snakes for after treatment? Depends on the situation, the condition. But normally snakes that come through the program, we try to turn, around, turn them around and get them back out into the wild within about three days of arrival. Don't think she realizes we're trying to help. <laughs> One, two, three, we're in. How can public help conserve snakes? I think the first step is to understand that snakes aren't a major threat, they're not a major problem, and actually give them the respect they need. So if you see one in your property, don't try and harm it. Try and get the help to get it rescued, and uh, then it can get back into the wild. But also, the public can start to consider whether they need to consume snake meat, snake product, traditional snake medicines that are popular in China. Paul, that's some interesting facts and very important information too. Thank you very much. Thank you.